See senior day, what does it mean, you know, you, this is your ninth senior day, what does it mean to kind of like reflect on these seniors? Well, it's been a great group, you know, you, you love it, every, you know, senior group, and I give these guys a lot of credit. They came in, they were young when we had a run to the Elite Eight, and we had to kind of rebuild some things and go through some some ups and downs, and these guys stayed true and, and uh, you know, no quick fix, and we struggled their sophomore year at 8-9, and, and, and uh, but we got better. And uh, then these last two years, they've turned it back on. So those, that's what leadership is, and that's what these guys um, instilled in our program. And, and they didn't waver on it. And so you got to give these six guys a lot of credit. And obviously, this is your ninth year. What does Senior Day kind of mean for you throughout the years? For me, it's really not about me. I think it's really about the, the those guys. And you just hope that you, you gave them a great experience here. I think with the resources and the support that Michigan State University has, that our athletic department has, I think these guys come in, most, almost all of our guys, if not all of them, come in and give a great effort. And if you do that, you're going to get things in return, um, whether it's playing minutes or an experience or whatever it is. So to me, that's what it's about, and you know, that's what it means. To, it reminds me. It brings back to my senior year. Uh, Almost 20 some odd years ago. <laughs> and then, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Okay. And then, um, how does playing a tough number two Indiana team also in the Big Ten prepare you for the Big Ten tournament? Well, this prepares you for everything. I mean, this was a very high level game with two teams. You got to give in Indiana credit. I thought they came out and were really strong in the first half. Um, we conceded the penalty kick, but then I thought we responded and uh, really played well in the second half and were the aggressors and probably a little disappointed not to get a, get a win after we tied the game. Mm -hmm. Um, well, in the beginning of the season, your goal for the has been defend tomorrow. Successfully done that two years in a row. One of your goals also in the beginning of the season was to finish top of the Big Ten. Pending another result, you guys could have done that. How do you guys, like, what does it mean to you guys to keep completing these goals, and how does that give you confidence to reach the further goals, going to the tournament, creating that momentum going into the tournament? Yeah, well, I think, um, you know, these are goals, and we don't make goals that we don't think we can achieve. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, three years ago and said, well, let's go win the Big Ten Championship with a bunch of freshmen and sophomores, but we had a good group here, and we knew that we could, and, and our guys worked hard, and we pushed them, and we challenged them, and it wasn't easy. This isn't an easy thing, and our guys responded, and so I think this is what shows them. If you set a goal and you put your mind to work, you have that chance to do it, and that's all you can ask for these guys. You guys turned up the heat a little bit in the second half. What changed? Well, I, you know, Indiana's got some good attacking pairs of players, and I thought we just laid off a little bit, and we played a little timid on the ball. And then once we started to get comfortable, I think Giuseppe Baroni, once he got in, helped calm some things down. Um, once we did that and started to break through some lines of pressure, um, we were really dangerous. Even in the first half, we had three or four really good chances um, that we when, we, when we connected the ball. But we, Indiana gave us some pressure, and we didn't deal with it great, and you got to give Indiana credit, and they're dangerous, and they drew the penalty. Uh, the toy kid's a handful. He's a very good player. So it was a great game, and um, I just thought once we got that goal and got some confidence, we were really pushing. I thought we were the aggressors, you know, in the second half in overtime.